Um, you're probably wondering where we went. I know we probably haven't posted any videos for a couple weeks. Uh, we're still here. We just have found this little gem of a place we've been staying. We like to fly fish, so when you come across a place like this, uh, you kind of like to stay and uh, take it in and catch some big browns like we have been. But we are at um, Oahe River um, here in Oregon. It's right on the border of Oregon and Idaho. Uh, free camping. Uh, as you're coming up the river, we came through Nyssa, Oregon, uh, up the road or up the hill. See the truck going up the hill up there is Oahe Lake State Park. We went up there one night because they were having an event here and um, even though this is a free area to camp and as you're driving up this road, um, it's just basically up to the uh, lake and back. Um, they had an event here and they asked if we would mind moving for a few days so we went up there and spent the night in the state park. Twenty-two dollars um, but there was water and power. Stayed up there one night, got a few chores done, came back down and found another free spot to, uh, to camp. They're, like I said, they're all over and you'll see them as you're driving up the road up here. All kinds of little turn, uh, turn offs, real seat tents, uh, RVs, motorhomes, everything. But we're staying at the uh, visitor center and it's just this big parking lot but we're parked right next to the river which is right down there pretty beautiful area I've caught quite a few big browns and I'll have uh, some pictures and videos that I'll, I'll put in our video for you um, but uh, as you can see, it's just this uh, lot back here, and we're parked right next to the river. There's even a little fire pit right there, but right back there in that green grassy area, um, there's an area where people have been putting their tents. You can, as long as your vehicle, total vehicle length is under 25 feet, you can stay back there. There's also all kinds of wildlife that you'll see around here. There's deer, turkey, turkeys, uh, different types of birds. I got a great picture of a blue heron. Um, there was a white snowy egret, I believe, that was in here the other day, and it didn't want me taking its picture at all. There's uh, some mallard ducks that we've seen in here. But, um, yeah, we've just been up here now for probably almost two weeks. No cell service. Um, the closest store is going to be down on the, uh, depending on which way you come in. It's just a little country store. Nice people that run it. It's kind of expensive, so if you want to come up here and hang out for a while, I would suggest, um, Maybe going into Ontario to the Walmart and getting your supplies. I'm going to put the video together behind this and then you'll see the, it's a beautiful drive up here in, in the canyon. And then I'll have uh, some video of uh, the river of us fishing, catching fish, releasing fish, and um, different pictures of the different critters that are, that are out here too. So, um, oh, the other thing too is up at the state park. They have these teepees that you can rent, and if you have kids, I have some friends at home that have kids, and I think your kids would love it. You can reserve them, and they're 40 bucks a night, but they're these big, huge teepees, and they have these nice big pads in the bottom of them. That uh, so all you'd have to do is just bring like a, a sleeping bag, pillow, you know, your cook gear, that kind of stuff. So um, got pictures of the teepees too. So. Um, anyway, you guys have a great day, and uh, I hope you enjoy our video of the Oahe River.
and the brown trout that are in here. And you guys have a great day and we'll...
We need a bigger net. Yeah, I'd say so.